So, the 3-0 Chancellor Chargers, the 2-0 King George Foxes, ready to do battle here on the home floor of the Chargers. Both coaches giving final instructions to their teams. If you're just tuning into your first game, there will not be a tip-off at center court. There will be a throw-in that will occur from the far sideline. That is one of the rule changes that have been put in place due to the coronavirus pandemic. So throwing it in for King George, they will have a change in their starting lineup. It'll be Brianna Ellis that will throw it in, and she throws it in to Kaylee Truslow. So a little bit of a different lineup than what we anticipated coming into the game. This is Gabby Mack, gets it to Ellis. Back to Mack, down low, trying to feed Naomi Glass. And here's a shot put up and in by Haley Callahan for the first points of the game. Scott. Gets it over to Reed, back to Scott. Around it goes to Maddie. Her three-point attempt is no good. And battle for the loose ball. Looked like the foot of Gabby Mack was on the line, and it will stay with Chancellor. Kayla Maddie will throw it in. Throws it back in deep to Kaylana Reed. Reed gets it to Kendall Scott. And we saw during warm-ups Kaylana Reed from the far side corner dropping three-pointers on multiple occasions. Maddie will throw it back in. Drive to the basket, shot put up, no good by Kendall Scott, rebounded by Ayana Ellis. And it goes to Callahan. Nice dish out to Yana Ellis. Her three-point attempt no good, but rebounded by Gabby Mack. And the Foxes will retain possession. 2-0 early. King George with the lead. And it goes to Callahan. She dribbles, puts up a short shot in the lane. Off the rim, no. Rebounded by number 11 of the Chargers. That is Kendall Scott. A nice dish underneath. And the first points of the game are by Kailana Reed. Tied at two. Mack, double team, dribbles, fires a nice pass underneath to Glass, and it rolls around the rim, no good. Rebounded by Maddie. Long pass down court, and underneath the basket, almost a turnover. They're going to call traveling, though, on Kailana Reed. Two two tie score. Two minutes into the first quarter of play, and here's a nice steal. It's the first turnover of the game for King George. The outlet pass, trying to hit underneath Kendall Scott, it is out of bounds and turnover for the Chargers. A little bit of full court pressure, three quarter court pressure, I should say. Callahan drops it back to Ellis. Ellis into the paint, puts a shot off of the board, and she's going to be called for a charge. That's the first personal foul of the game. The officials waiting. For what reason, I'm not sure. Now they get the game back underway. The freshman, Kendall Scott, dribbles it up court over the timeline. Melchior. Maddie thought about a three. So did Ainsworth. Shot up, no good. Rebounded by Ayana Ellis. That's her second board of the game. Mack. Pass down low. Turnover. Nice job by Reed getting in front of that one. And the shot underneath is up and in. That was Kaylana Reed with her second basket of the game. She's got all four points for Chancellor, and we're going to have a timeout called. So we'll take a brief timeout as well. You are watching girls basketball from Chancellor High School, the Chargers, and the King George Foxes on the NFHS Network.
5.02 remaining in the first period of play. Chancellor leads King George 4-2. to two. A battle of beatings here tonight at the corral. Here's a shot in the lane put up by Glass. No good. Battle for the rebound. And it's going to be off of King George. Chancellor will inbound it. Chancellor outscoring their opponents, an average of 66.3 to 31.7. Here's a shot in close, no good. Another shot up by Melchior, deflected, taken away by King George. And here's a nice pass down low to a wide open Haley Callahan. She's got her second basket, so two players have all the points in the game. For Chancellor, it's Kaylana Reed with two two-pointers. And Haley Callahan, likewise, for King George. King George outscoring their opponents, an average of 49.5 to 32.5. Here's a three-point attempt, and it is good. That is Anlaya Ainsworth with the three-point bomb, and that gives the Chargers a three-point lead. And another turnover. Back the other way it will come. The Chargers with a chance to build on their lead. Scott into the corner, another three-point attempt put up by Reed. That one no good, not even close, doesn't get to the rim. And we're going to have a end line violation by King George. It will stay with Chancellor. Maddie will inbound, gives it to Melchior. Back to Maddie, her shot up around the rim, no good, though. Rebound down low by... And Laya Ainsworth, she puts up a shot no good, but she will go to the free throw line for the first free throws of the night for either team. And her first one is up, and it is good. That makes the lead 8-4 to four for Chancellor. Ainsworth averaging 21.7 points per game and 9.3 rebounds per game. Second one no good, but Chancellor gets the ball back. Melchior off the backboard, no, rolls around. Nice rebound down low though by Ainsworth. And the shot is up and in. And it's 10 to four. That one goes out of bounds. It'll stay with King George. McCall to throw it in. And a shot off the front of the rim by Ellis, no good. Rebounded by Ellis. Brianna, two Ellis's in the game. They are sisters. And Maddie gets the pass after the rebound by Melchior. Kendall Scott dribbling. Three-point attempt, a long one. No good by Ainsworth. Rebounded by King George. Here's a shot down low, no good. Put back, no good. Third shot up, no. And now we're going to have a foul called. I believe that's going to go on Maddie, but let's see. It is on Kayla Maddie. The freshman forward, her first. And that is the first team foul as well for the Chargers. Brianna Ellis' first is up and no good. And the second one gets the friendly roll, and that cuts the lead to 10. Check it, 11 to 4. If you're watching, look at the instruction being given by Antoine Gay down on the Chargers bench. Scott cut off on her dribble, knocked away by Glass. It'll stay with Chancellor. 
Melchior will throw it in. Does so to Reed. Her long three-point shot is good. Actually, they're going to call it a two-point shot, not a three-point shot, a two-pointer. And pressure defense being applied by Chancellor. There's a nice cut. And not able to finish was Callahan, rebounded by Chancellor. That was Reed. Check that. Reed gets the pass, takes the shot, rebounded by Naomi Glass for King George. Long pass down deep. Here's a shot up, rolls around the rim. Callahan can't get it to drop. That'll be the second foul on the Chargers. It will be Ainsworth that gets tagged with her first. Team fouls even at two apiece. That'll put Haley Callahan at the line for the Foxes. And the first one drops cleanly through the cylinder. Melchior will come out of the game. Talia Johnson will come into the game. Johnson, a sophomore. Callahan too strong on the second one. Battle for the rebound. A throw in over her head by Glass. Pretty nice play momentarily, but Chancellor gets it back. Driving, putting it up, and getting it to drop is Kendall Scott. And the lead grows to 15-6. to six. In favor of the home team. So Scott will try to make the Old-fashioned three-point play. And does. Nice backspin on that particular shot. Good free throw form. Three-quarter court pressure again by Chancellor, but King George able to break it. Here's a pass intended down low. Turnover. But turnover right back. Now I think we're going to have a help ball, and that's what the official says. The arrow is in favor of King George. Inbounding it is Lauren McCall. Out deep to Ayana Ellis. Looks like it's a 1-2-2 zone that Chancellor's playing. Here's a long three-point attempt. No good. Rebound by Ayana Ellis. Puts it up. No. Another shot up. That one up and in. And I couldn't tell from the bodies who got it. We're going to give it to Ellis. That cuts the lead to 16-8. Driving the baseline. Nice job by Ainsworth. 18 to 8 in favor of Chancellor. Here's a pass down low. Shot up. No. And a follow up attempt by Naomi Glass is no good. We're going to have the third foul on Chancellor. That'll be Kendall Scott with her first. So Scott, Maddie, and Ainsworth with one apiece. Glass gets the friendly roll. Forty-three point two seconds remaining. Let's see if Chancellor plays for the final shot. The second shot is up. It is no good. This is a drive and a nice dish back out by Johnson. Shot attempt no good by Reed. The pressure defense so far does not seem to be bothering King George. Pretty good ball handlers on the court for the Foxes. Pass into Callahan. Take it away. Another turnover for Chancellor. Going all the way to the hoop. A nice block, but follow-up shot by Reed. No good. Putting it back up was Maddie. She's fouled. She'll get a chance to go to the free throw line. That foul will be on Ayana Ellis. That is her second. Occurs with 4.1 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. 
18-9 Chargers. 19-9 Chargers. And Kayla Maddie sinks a pair, making the lead 20 to nine. The long attempt at the end of the quarter is no good, and we have come to the end of the first eight minutes of play. The Chargers with the lead over the visiting King George Foxes by 11, 20 to nine. You are watching Chancellor Chargers Girls Basketball on the NFHS Network. Ready to start the second period of play from the Chancellor High School Gymnasium. The Chargers leading the visiting King George Foxes 20 to nine. Good ball movement around the perimeter by Chancellor. Maddie, cut off to Scott. Scott will pull it back out, listening to instructions from head coach Antoine Gay, gets it back to Maddie. Reed, Scott, patient offense being displayed here by Chancellor. Melchior lost it momentarily. Here's a three-point shot up off the front of the rim. No good by Kalani Reed. Rebounded by the Foxes. And what a beautiful outlet pass and an easy basket in transition by Naomi Glass. Cuts the lead to 20 to 11. Reed thought about a three, then the defense collapsed on her. She goes into the paint, and there's an unforced error turnover. She thought she was going to have a cutting teammate, wasn't there. Glass back to Mack. Her long shot attempt, no good. Rebounded by Scott. Back come the Chargers, and the layup rolls around the rim, won't fall for Reed. And it's going to stay on the Chargers' end of the court. Maddie will inbound it just to the right of the Chargers basket. Coming in will be Kaylee Truslow, and coming out will be Gabby Mack for King George. Maddie gets it back in deep. Driving in the lane, putting off a floater. Is Ainsworth? No. Out of bounds. King George cannot corral these rebounds, and it stays with the Chargers. 6.28 remaining in the second quarter, 20 to 11. The largest lead just a moment ago at 20 to 9. Maddie will go out of the game. Coming back in is Talia Johnson. She'll be the inbounder. Sends it back out deep to Ainsworth. Here's a good look at a three by Scott. No. Rebounded by King George, and here's a layup too strong, and I think we're going to have a foul here called on Naomi Glass for going over the back. And indeed, that is the first foul on the sophomore guard for King George High School. Reed 
Open look for three by Ainsworth. That one's up and in. Her second three-pointer of the game. 23-12, the largest lead now at 12. Attempt at a steal, taken away. We're going to have a tie up here, and it's going to go to Chancellor, I believe, on the arrow. No, they're going to say the arrow points to King George. Ellis, down low. Callahan was left open. She gets the pass off the backboard, off the rim. No. Traveling will be called on Naomi Glass after the rebound. So another turnover for King George. I've got it eight for King George, five for Chancellor. Another look at a three by Ainsworth, and another basket! Ainsworth feeling it from downtown. She's got 16. Pass to Callahan, sends it in to Glass. A nice give and go there. That cuts the lead to 26-13. Another three-point attempt. This one won't fall. Battle for the rebound down low. Getting her own rebound, putting it up and in is Reed. Her fourth two-pointer. 28-13. Truslow cut off, pass down low. Glass has it get caught between the rim and the backboard. Here's a nice give and go, layup attempt up and in by Kaylana Reed. And a timeout is going to be called by Greg Ellis, the first year head coach of the Foxes. We'll take a timeout as well. It's all Chargers here in the second period. 30 13, Chancellor with the lead over King George. You're watching girls basketball on the NFHS Network. Four twenty-nine remaining in the first half of play. Thirty to thirteen, Chancellor with the lead. It was twenty to nine at the end of the first quarter of play. So the Chargers so far outscoring their opponent ten to four. Cross court pass to McCall. Here's a shot that got all air, but a nice tip. Preventing it from going out of bounds momentarily was King George, but here comes Chancellor Ainsworth with a nice body fake down low to get her fourth two-pointer of the game. 32-13, to 13, the largest lead of the game for Chancellor. Mack, three-point attempt off the back of the rim, no, rebounded by Ellis. Brianna Ellis will go to the free throw line. 3.41 remaining. 32-13 Chancellor. 32-14 Chancellor. And making a pair is Brianna Ellis. She's three for four from the stripe. Back come the Chargers. Maddie. 
Sends it back to Scott. Back to Maddie. And we're going to have a kicked ball. It will stay with Chancellor, who will inbound it right in front of the head coach of the Foxes, Greg Ellis, in his first year. Scott to Ainsworth. Ainsworth with a long shot attempt off the backboard. No, rebounded by Gabby Mack. Cross court to McCall. Ellis with a three-point attempt short. Battle for the rebound. Nice work underneath to get it. Was Brianna Ellis. Puts the shot up. No good, but the foul will be called on number 23. And Leah Ainsworth. That is her second. Up and good on her first attempt. And the second one rolls out. Getting the rebound, though, was Ayana Ellis, and she puts it up and in. So that's a unique three-point play there. And here's the takeaway by the Foxes. So King George showing a little bit of fight here in the last minute and a half or so. Here's a long three-point attempt. Almost in and out, but look down low with the rebound and the putback is Ellis. And on a bit of a run here is King George. They've scored the last seven. Long cross-court pass. Two-point shot put up by Reed. No good. Chancellor came into the game shooting 42% from the field. And what was once a 19-point lead has been cut to 12. Long cross-court pass. McCall tied up down low. That's going to be a held ball. The arrow this time. Antoine Gay says, I think it's this way. The officials initially pointed to King George, but they change it, and it will go to Chancellor. Reed dribbles up court. Cut off. Back out front to Johnson. To Scott, another turnover here by Chancellor, and going in for the easy two-point layup is Ayana Ellis, and suddenly that 19-point lead has almost been cut in half. It's now 10, 32-22. Chancellor needs points on this possession to stop the bleeding. Here's a long three-pointer. No, Maddie can't get the rebound. Ellis gets it, Ayana that is. And back come the Foxes with a chance to cut it to eight. Long two-point shot attempt is no good. Nice tip down low. Shot put up by Callahan, no good. Battle for the rebound. Out it goes. It'll stay with King George. Deep out with pass to Ellis. And here's a foul that's going to be called. I believe that one's going to be on Johnson number five. It is. That is team foul number six for Chancellor. Comes with 58 and a half seconds remaining in the second period of play. Ellis makes another one. And makes another one. She is 6 of 8 if we're keeping the score correctly at the line. The lead has been cut to 8. Here's another turnover by Chancellor. King George can cut it to 6. A 2 on 1 break. Putting the shot up. No good. Getting the shot back up is Brianna Ellis. She is fouled.
And that's going to be on Ainsworth. That is, no, check that, it's not. It's going to be on Johnson, number five. Nope. It is on Ainsworth. At least the scoreboard is saying Ainsworth. Ellis makes it. The lead has been cut to six points. It was 19 just a moment ago. Chancellor needs points on this possession. Floater along the baseline. No. Battle for the rebound. Comes down to King George. Here's Ellis dribbling in. Stops. Cut off. Long three-point attempt is up, short. Baffert rebound down low. Coming out with it was Ainsworth, and she's going to be fouled by Brianna Ellis. Seventeen seconds remaining. Chancellor obviously will play for the final shot of a second period that Started off pretty good and then became disastrous over the last three or four minutes. Two seconds left. Maddie couldn't handle it, and Chancellor can't get a shot off, and King George has cut what was a 19-point lead down to just seven at the end of the second period of play. 32-25, Chancellor with the lead. We'll be back with the halftime statistics. When we return, you are watching... Chancellor Chargers girls basketball on the NFHS network. Along the far side. Well, once the officials get ready, we will have the ball inbounded. One of the officials has to get his mask on properly. And a quick give and go. Here is a long pass down low to Callahan. And you can see what the strategy is for King George. Work it around outside, create some space, get it down low to Callahan, let her take a shot in close. Turnover, though, for King George. Dribbling is Reed. Ainsworth. Hands it off to Scott. Scott puts up a long, long three-pointer. Battle for the rebound, no good. Rebounded by Gabby Mack. Back comes King George. Pass down low. Callahan, her shot blocked, and Maddie thought she got all ball. The official saw it a different way, and Maddie will pick up her second personal foul. That one bounces off of the right side of the rim, heads left. Next one is up and good. Callahan two for four at the stripe. That cuts the lead to six. Back comes Scott. Down in the corner. Long three-point attempt by Reed is no good. Out of bounds it goes, and the King George Foxes have a chance to cut it to four, perhaps three. It will be Johnson that goes into the game for Melchior. Ellis passes it to Ellis. She goes up too strong, rebounded by Reed. Back the other way come the Chargers. Scott thought she had a lane to the basket. Has it taken away. Turnover Chancellor. Pass to Mack. Cross court to Ellis. Her shot up, no good. Battle for the rebound. Down low, shot up and in by Ayana Ellis. And it's gonna be a three point attempt. And the lead can be cut to three. Stop. 
Shot no good. Rebounded by Ainsworth. Chancellor needs to get one of the shooters untracked. Here is a, another turnover by Chancellor. That has been a problem here in this run by King George. It's been turnovers by the Chargers that have allowed King George in part to get back into this game. Here's Callahan. Ball tied up. And the arrow favors Chancellor. Maddie will send it in to Kendall Scott, the freshman guard. Back to Maddie. Ainsworth, a long three point attempt. In and out. No good. Rebounded by Callahan, who has another board. McCall. Callahan dribbling down low on Maddie. Her shot off the rim. No. Rebounded by Talaya Johnson. Here's a pass down low. Shot put up. No foul called. Officials must have thought it was all ball. Now we're going to have a reach-in foul, I believe, called on, I believe, Ainsworth. Let's see. It's going to be called on Reed. Kaylana Reed, the sophomore guard. And some pressure defense being applied here by Chancellor. That deflection is off of Chancellor. King George will maintain possession. So Antoine Gay trying a little bit of pressure defense here to maybe stop the run that the Foxes have been on. Here's a good look at it by number 32, Gabby Mack. Her shot up and good. And it's just a two-point game. 32-30. Maddie drives the lane, puts a runner up, bounces around the rim. No, battle for the rebound. It's off of Ainsworth. Back will come King George with a chance to tie the game. Into Ellis. To McCall. Callahan. To Ayana Ellis. Stops, free throw line, shot, good. Tied ball game at 32. That's the first tie since it was 2-2 early in the first quarter of play. Three-point attempt up by Reed, no, rebounded down low. Winning the battle of the boards tonight is King George in a big kind of way. And nice job there by Kayla Maddie to set her feet and to get the charge. That's the third foul on Ayana Ellis. Cure drops it back off to her running mate. Reed in the near corner, double teamed. And we're going to have a foul call, the reach in, getting a little bit too anxious there was Ellis, and I believe that'll be her fourth. It is. That could be big for Chancellor Ayana Ellis. Takes it away, another turnover for King George. Back they come. Pass down low, a little bit too strong and able to get to it was Naomi Glass. It'll go back the other direction. Rihanna Ellis will come in for a Yana Ellis. Halfway through the third period of play, tied at 32. What was once a 19-point Chargers lead has been whittled away to zero. A nice give and go down low, and Ainsworth cannot get it to drop. And the foul is going to be called a Melchior for Chancellor.
And there's a turnover caused by Chancellor, but they will turn it right back over, trying to get a little too anxious. And another turnover by King George. A flurry here of turnovers, a little over anxiousness on both sides. 3.37 remaining in the third quarter. The game tied at 32. Chancellor has been outscored 7 to nothing in the third quarter thus far. Here's a real long three-point attempt. No good by Ainsworth. Putting a shot up down close was Kendall Scott. Right now there's a lid on the basket for Chancellor. And here's a turnover by King George. Chancellor couldn't throw it in the ocean from a paddleboard at the moment. And a timeout has been called. 32 all, 316 remaining in the third period of play. You're watching Chancellor Chargers girls basketball on the NFHS Network. Hey, Chargers fans, after the game... Be sure to visit one of our local Chili's restaurants. You can pick up an order of their world-famous Texas-sized baby back ribs and enjoy them at your house with your family, or you can dine in with one of their big mouth burgers. Either way, you will certainly enjoy it. It is a slam dunk. Two area locations to choose from, South Point Parkway or in front of the Spotsy Town Center Chili's Restaurant. Ready to get back underway. 316 remaining in the third quarter of play. It is a 19 to nothing run. The King George is on right now. Chancellor's had a few good looks, has not been able to hit. They were hot early through about the midway point of the fourth quarter, and since then it has been pretty much a disaster. Here's a running shot in the lane, and finally, finally getting points on the board for Chancellor is Ainsworth. That's the first points of the second half for Chancellor. And it's negated by a quick given low. Down low, Brianna Ellis equals the shot the Chancellor just got up and we're tied again at 34. There's a long, long three-point attempt. That was a moon shot, almost like a Wedge shot in golf, and here's Callahan with the breakaway up and in, and for the first time since it was 2 nothing, King George has the lead at 36-34. Going into the lane, trying to get a shot up was Melchior. She's fouled. She'll go to the free throw line, hoping to make a pair to tie it. the side of the rim so it will not be an attempt to tie this shot will be an attempt to get within one that one rolls around it misses as well rebounded by Brianna Ellis Ellis and Ellis sounds like a law firm but it's a rebounding firm and there's a quick shot up and in by Morgan Davidson a freshman who just got into the game it's a four-point lead for King George. Three-point attempt, up and no good by Ainsworth. Follow-up, no, foul will be called. Ainsworth will go to the line. The foul will be called on Callahan.
Hangsworth drops that one through. That one bounces around the rim, no good. Rebound by Glass. A three-point lead for King George, 38-35, a minute 40 remaining in the third period of play. Shot in the paint off the front of the rim, rebounded by Chancellor. That's Scott getting it to a cutting. Kaylon Reed, that cuts the lead to 38-37. And a timeout's going to be called quickly, 30-second timeout by Antoine Gay, the head coach of the Chargers. We'll keep it right here. So it was 32-25 at the half. And King George has outscored Chancellor so far, 13-5. <laughs> Clinging to a one-point lead as we get near the end of the third quarter of play. And Chancellor, from about the midway point of the second period through a good bit of the third, was absolutely ice cold. Close-in shots did not go. Several three-point bombs did not go. And the offense just looked completely out of sync. Several turnovers. For the Chargers during that span, King George causing a lot of turnovers, and it has been the work down low that has led King George to this comeback from down 19 to now leading by a point. Here's a pass to a wide open. Davidson down low, no good. Rebound put back up by Brianna Ellis is no good. Battle for the rebound, and... Timeout's going to be called by King George. We'll take a timeout as well with the score 38 37. King George leading the Chargers from Chancellor High School in Fredericksburg, Virginia. This is girls basketball on the NFHS network. Back at Chancellor High School, 38-37, King George leading the Chancellor Chargers. The Chargers 3-0, King George 2-0 coming in, and this one has proven to be quite the battle for Chancellor after they opened up a 19-point lead. King George with a four-point lead at 38-34, and the foul is going to be called, I believe, on Ainsworth. Inbounding against King George. Here's a shot from the top of the key area. Rebounded by Ainsworth, and they're going to have a reach-in foul called on, I believe, Gabby Mack. Nope, they're going to call him a call. Chancellor with a chance to retake the lead. Kendall Scott dribbling. Here's a long three-point attempt. In and out, no good. Rebounded by Glass. That one's so close to dropping through. Steal attempt by Johnson, no good. Pass down low and an easy turnaround shot up and in by Ellis. And King George puts the lead at three, 40-37. 19 seconds remaining in the third period. There's a turnover almost by Chancellor, getting the ball back, pass down low, putting it up and in is Maddie. She gets the roll and a chance to tie it. 9.3 seconds left. Sometimes you throw up a prayer and sometimes it is answered. And Maddie will take her third free throw attempt of the game. Nothing but net to tie it at 40. 
That is our fourth tie of the game. It was tied at 2, 32, 34, and now at 40. Timeout called. 9.3 seconds remaining in the third period. A 40-40 tie. And Coach Gay called the timeout to set his defense. And he had been applying three-quarter court pressure. This time he's going to just let the King George Foxes dribble it up court. And it will end in a 40-40 tie as we go to the fourth period of play at Chancellor High School. The Chargers and the King George Foxes, you're watching girls basketball on the NFHS Network. Hey, Chargers fans, after the game, be sure to visit one of our local Chili's restaurants. You can pick up an order of their world-famous Texas-sized baby back ribs and enjoy them at home around the dinner table with your family or in front of the TV watching the national championship game tonight between Ohio State and Alabama, or you can dine in at one of the local Chili's restaurants and get one of their Big Mouth burgers. Either way, or whatever else you order from the menu, it's a slam dunk. Two area locations to choose from, South Point Parkway, or in front of the Spotsy Town Center Chili's Restaurant, a proud sponsor of Chancellor Chargers Girls Basketball. So we go to the final period of play here at Chancellor High School. King George and Chancellor, two teams that came in unbeaten. Chancellor 3-0, King George 2-0. And it looked like a runaway early, and it's anything but. This one is a grudge match now, tied at 40. Glass, back to Davidson. One, two, two defense being applied here by Chancellor. Double team, no, able to beat it. it was King George, and there's a double dribble called on Kaylee Truslow, and that'll be a turnover for King George. Driving, putting up a shot. Down low, no. Rebounded by Chancellor, and on the line was Reed, and it will go the other way. Substitution coming back into the game is Ayana Ellis. She's got four fouls. Morgan Davidson will sit down. And you kind of get the feeling this one may come down to who's got the last possession. There was some three-quarter court pressure, and it looked like a double dribble on the far side. No call. Here's a pass down low to Glass. Sends it to Ellis. Ellis turns, puts up her shot. Looked like it was an all-ball. Blocked by Reed, but apparently she got a little bit of body. Five team fouls on Chancellor, six on King George. The first one is up and in by Ellis. She makes a pair. That gives King George the lead at 42-40. 7.05 remaining in the game, at least in regulation. Drive to the basket, nice floater, cannot fall by Ainsworth, gets a rebound. And there's anticipation by Ayana Ellis going all the way to the hoop, putting it up and in. You could just see that when she anticipated that pass and broke on it early, like a linebacker breaking on a flat pass. And there's... Another turnover for Chancellor. Foot on the end line by Leia Ainsworth. Ainsworth, rather. Oh, 
King George with a chance to build on their four-point lead. They had a breakaway. They didn't see it. Kaylee Truesley was open down low. Back out it comes to Ellis. McCall. Back to Ayana Ellis. Back to Truslow. Brianna Ellis sends it to number 20. Ayana Ellis, she puts it in. It is a six-point lead for King George. And we're going to have a foul called. That's going to be on number 10, Kaylee Truslow, the sophomore. Team foul number seven. So now the Chargers will be in the bonus. Scott puts it up and in. 46-41. Scott drops the second one as well. 46-42. Timeout's going to be called by Antoine Gay here to set some strategy with 554 remaining a four-point King George lead. This has been one of those tales of two halves. You could almost take this basketball game, slice it right down the middle, and you could award the first 12 minutes or so to Chancellor as they build a 19-point lead, and then roaring back from that point to now was King George. They currently have what has tied for their largest lead of the game at 46 to 42. They also led by four at 44-40 and 38-34. And it's been work down low on the boards that has pretty much led King George to mount this comeback. And early on, the long shots were falling for Chancellor. And then about halfway through the second period, it's like someone went out and put a lid on the basket. And even short shots, layups weren't falling for Chancellor. So the Chargers are going to have to dig deep here, get a few shots to fall, create a few turnovers, and prevent King George from doing likewise to be able to run that record to 4-0. Three-quarter court pressure applied by Chancellor. King George able to break it. When you get to this point in the game, a lot of times it's who's got the most energy, who can get in the lanes, prevent those passes and create turnovers and stamina, off-season conditioning. This is the point in the game where it all comes so much into focus. And we're going to have a foul called on Ainsworth, I believe. In comes the pass to Ellis. She thought about it, and... We had Ainsworth with a fifth foul, and I think that's what the officials may be talking about. Well, fortunately for Chancellor Chargers fans, our stats of Ainsworth having five fouls is not what the officials see. But in the bonus now is King George. And putting up a shot, missing it is Davidson, rebounded by Maddie. Back the other way comes Chancellor. They need a basket big time, and it's going to be a double dribble call on Kaylana Reed, an unforced error. Another turnover for Chancellor. Oh. 
5-13 remaining, 46-42. King George with the lead, trying to work the ball down low to Glass. They do. She puts it up and in. That has been a formula. Get the ball down low to either Glass or Callahan and work up the short shots. Biggest lead of the game now is 6 for King George. Here's a long three-point attempt off the front of the rim. No, and yet another rebound by Ayana Ellis. She's got a bunch. Glass up and in, almost making it look easy. The defense for Chancellor faltering. It's now the largest lead of the game at 8, 50-42. And timeout's going to be called by Antoine Gay. We'll take a timeout as well. With the score, 50-42, to 42, King George leading Chancellor here on the Chargers' home court. You're watching girls basketball on the NFHS Network. Fifty to forty-two, King George with their largest lead of the game over Chancellor here on the Chargers' home court. Four seventeen remaining in the fourth period of play. It will be Kayla Matty to inbound the basketball. She gets it to Kendall Scott. Scott wanted to go around a screen by Matty, went the other way, and we're going to have a held ball called. The error will stay with Chancellor. Maddie with a long inbound pass. Gets it back out to Johnson. Moving the ball around the horn is Chancellor. Here's a nice shot attempt up air ball, but putting it back up and in is Maddie for a much needed basket for Chancellor. Cuts the lead to six. King George on the break. Putting up a short shot. No good was Davidson. Rebounded by Chancellor. Here's a breakaway attempt by Kendall Scott up and in. That cuts the lead to four. Ellis double teamed. Down low it comes to Ellis. Her short shot up, no. Rebounded by Johnson. And we're going to have a foul called. On King George. No indication yet which player. It will be on Morgan Davidson. And in the bonus, Chancellor will have a chance at the charity stripe to cut it to two. 50 to 46 currently, 327 remaining in the final period of play. Talaya Johnson. Up and in. And she makes both. That cuts the lead to two, 50 to 48. 325 remaining in the final period of play. Here's a little ball pressure by Chancellor. Able to break it is King George and who else? Naomi Glass down low with the easy basket. As the defense for Chancellor extended too far out. Kendall Scott dribbling. 
Good look at a shot there by Reed, and it finally bounces up and in. Much needed points there for Chancellor, 52-50, King George. Pass down low, Glass, short shot off the front of the rim, no. Rebounded by Johnson down low. Her outlet pass to Reed. Reed for three. No. Won't go, battle for the rebound. And it is Brianna Ellis that gets it, and a reach-in foul is going to be called. Kailana Reed just couldn't get it to fall. It will be Brianna Ellis at the line for King George, and she has spent a lot of time there tonight. We have her as 7 of 9. And Anaya Melchior will come in for Elana Reed. Also shot, no good. Rebounded by Chancellor. Kendall Scott with a big board there. Nice look at a three. Will this one go? Off the front of the rim, bounces again, no. Battle for the rebound, Morgan Davidson gets it. Glass somehow did not get called for traveling. Taken away by Chancellor, dribbling all the way up and in. The shot won't go, put back won't go. For Chancellor, rebounded by Lauren McCall. Two minutes remaining, King George by two, 52-50. Out comes the defense. The problem is no one is getting on the passing targets when the double team on the passer is occurring. There's the takeaway, finally, by Kendall Scott. Slowly puts this one up and in. And it's tied at 52. One thirty remaining in the game. These two teams tied at 52. Here's a shot, top of the key, bouncing around, no, rebounded by Glass, puts it up, no, battle for the rebound, taken away, held ball, arrow, favors King George. And a timeout's going to be called by head coach Greg Ellis. We'll take timeout as well. 52-52, 118 remaining. 78 seconds of regulation remaining at Chancellor High School. This is girls basketball on the NFHS Network. Hey, Chargers fans, after the game, be sure to visit one of Fredericksburg's local Chili's restaurants. Pick up an order of their world-famous Texas-sized baby back ribs, so delicious, and enjoy them at your house or dine in at one of their locations, either at South Point Parkway or in front of the Spotsy Town Center. Either way, it's a slam dunk Chili's restaurant. Back at Chancellor High School in Fredericksburg, Virginia. 3-0 Chancellor, 2-0 King George. And this one has turned out to be a tight game in the late stages. Chancellor got out to a 19-point lead halfway through the second quarter. Then it was a 19-0 run by King George that tied it up. King George had a lead just a moment ago of eight at 50-42. And Chancellor has managed to cut that lead out and tie it, but here is a shot up and in by Ayana Ellis. Her ninth two-point basket of the night. A long three-point attempt, bounces off the rim, no good. No one down low to get the rebound. Brianna Ellis with yet another rebound. The Ellis sisters have just done yeoman's work on the boards. 55 seconds remaining. King George by two. And King George calls a timeout. We'll keep it right here. A two-point lead for King George.
Well, if you're Chancellor, the one thing you don't want to have is a short shot put back up by Naomi Glass or Ellis getting in close. Spin moves down low. Really, Chancellor hasn't had much of an answer for either player down low. For Chancellor, the hot shooting that was evident the first 12 minutes of the game has disappeared. Three-point shots not finding the mark. Not too many chances for in-close shots either. But the good news for Chargers fans is it's only a two-point King George lead, and if Chancellor can get a turnover here or make a stop, they'll have a chance to tie it up, or possibly with a three, to win it. Brianna Ellis to inbound. Long pass cross court to Glass. She sends it out to McCall. McCall back to Ayana Ellis, and there's the turnover that Chancellor needed. Back the other way come the Chargers. Who's going to take the shot or try to take the shot? Losing the handle was Kendall Scott, but it'll stay with Chancellor. 31.2 seconds left. 54-52, King George with the lead. Maddie to inbound. Looking. Gets it in. Ainsworth with a long three. No, won't go. Rebounded, though, down low by Scott. Coming out with it is Ellis. Ellis has an open teammate down low. Short shot up and in by Gabby Mack. 15 seconds left. Chancellor's got to push it up court. 10 seconds left. A sense of urgency needs to be made here by the Chargers. Long three-point attempt. Short, no, rebounded by King George, and that should do it. The King George Foxes come in to Chancellor's Gymnasium and knock off the Chancellor Chargers, wiping out a 19-point lead to come away with a 56-52 victory here at Chancellor High School. We'll be back with the final statistics when we return. You are watching Chancellor Chargers girls basketball on the NFHS Network.